people give me three reasons why we need that. Uh, one is to improve appearance. Okay, let me use a bigger scope here. And then let's just say why electroplating or electroplate. The question is why. One is now to improve the appearance. Another reason why we need to uh, electroplate metals is now to increase the value, increase uh, in value. So we want to give the metal a specific value so that can appease to people and we start buying it and the most important one is now to protect against against rust so now this is very important because it, it basically explains why do we need now to start having a process that we called uh, what that we call electroplating so with this being being said it says now, when working with an electroplating cell, there are a few things that one needs now to, to, to consider. Remember, in every cell, we have a cathode and an anode. So the metal to be plated will always be now connected to the cathode. And what is it that will happen here? is that now all reduction will take place at the very same time we are going to have now uh, mass increases so this is very important for us to fully understand that the metal to be plated will always be connected to to the cathode. But what does this say now to me? It says to me, in an electrolytic cell, this metal that I want to electroplate must be now connected to a negative terminal of the bit. So must be connected now to a term negative termi terminal of The beta. So that is very, very important now for us to understand. What will happen now uh, when we want to electroplate a specific or a sitting matter? Let's look now at what happens at anode. So at anode, obviously, we are going to have our oxidation. And we are going to have now a decrease in mass, a decrease in mass, and lastly, uh, it is going to erode. That basically says it's going to be small and small, and then that is where now we have our pure electrode. So, with this being said. It's basically covering all the important aspects that one needs to know when working with an electroplating cell. So with an electroplating cell, just remember that your cathode or your metal to be plated will always be connected to your cathode. That is where now your reduction takes place and we are going to have an increase now in in mass so with this uh, basic revision of what to look for it is important now to realize that for this specific given cell we want to increase the value so we want our au uh, three plus ions to be now plated To be now plated into our our metal. 
so it basically says now our AU3 plus should now be moving into that uh, metal where now reduction will take place and when reduction takes place it basically says we are going to have now what we are going to have uh, a u being formed at that specific answer so i'm going to try and write the two half uh, reactions that are taking place i'm going to start now with what happens at unnode at unnode we are going to have a g moving now into a so not a g we are working with a u it's now a u giving us a u three plus plus now three electrons but now what happens at cathode or now at cathode we have a u three plus that is now for the gold uh, plus three electrons giving us now the AU. So it means now the AU will be the one that is formed and will now create this nice linear of gold here on top of this metal of ours. So these are the two half reactions that we need now to consider for this specific uh, said so the mere fact that we are able now to explain it in detail that this is what is going to happen so everything should become easy when trying to answer these questions so let's answer the questions and check if the basic theory or the quick summary that we did is going to assist us in terms of answering these questions at 8.1 uh, is this an electrolytic cell or a galvanic cell? We have a, a power source, so definitely this must be an electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. If the question wanted to ask to have a reason, uh, it will be that we have the power source and electrical energy is converted now to uh, chemical, chemical energy. So, uh, that is now answering number 8.1. Let's quickly go now for 8.2. Which electrode P or the metal is the unknown? Remember, we said now our metal to be plated will always be uh, connected to the cathode. Then it basically says now P must be our, our unknown. So the correct answer here must be must be P. Now at 8.3, 1, write down the half reaction that takes place at P. So the half reaction that takes place at P, uh, P it's unknown. So at unknown we have AU giving us now AU3 plus plus now three electrons au3 plus plus three electrons and this is now an easy two marks that one can get provided you understand the operations of the cell the oxidation number of gold au in the electrolyte the oxidation number there is a plus three so that is now at 8.32, 8.32, that is now plus 3. You can put the plus in the bracket, uh, but it's fine if you only say it is a plus 3, then it will be one mark for that. It will be now one mark for that. And then energy change that takes place in the cell because it is a gulf it, it is an electrolytic cell 8.33 now it must be electrical energy electrical energy is converted to chemical energy 
8.34. Visible change that occurs on electrode P after the cell functions for a while. So we said we are going to have a decrease in mass. So one can easily say it is going to become smaller. Become smaller. And I think you can also accept the issue that it is it erodes. And then the other one can be there's a decrease now in mass. Decrease in in mass so remember they said only one but i am giving you now this three so that we can have a variety of options when we try and answer the specific questions so at 8.4 they say now besides besides improving appearance state one other reason why the metal is to be plated so we have this two options improve appearance increase in value or protect against rust so i'm going to write one to say protect against rust but i've given you three so hence they said now uh, besides improving uh, appearance, why do we need to electroplate? So at 8.5, uh, state one of the two possible changes that should be made to the cell above to electroplate the metal with silver instead of gold. So the first thing that you can do is basically just to replace an electrolyte with something that has silver or uh, replace p which is now the electrode with an electrode that is as silver so the easiest one is to replace electrode p with silver then maybe another one that you can use a possible uh, answer for this one can also be replace au3 plus with ag plus uh, solution or electron so with this being said, everything now becomes nice and clear and easy to understand. What was key is understanding how the cell operates. But remember, the examiner will always tell us exactly the operation of the cell. It can either be electrolysis of sodium chloride, purification of copper, or even electroplating thereof so with the three uh, basic operations of the electrics electrolytic cell uh, being attended to it basically says we have tried now to close all the gaps that the examiner can be in a position of asking but remember the concepts will always be the same the interpretation of the question is what becomes now a challenge in in in, in, in most cases so if, if there's something that you feel that you do not understand, kindly uh, share your comments. And from your comments, I will be now in a position of trying to assist you. And in the description also, remember, uh, I have included the link to our website where you can be in a position of receiving all the nice PDFs that will assist you in terms of uh, physical sciences so with that being said i hope this video assists you the best possible way it can and don't forget to subscribe and share and tell a friend about us so that we can also now be in a position of creating more content such as this one from me to you thank you very much and have a lovely day